Hi friends, for this Music Monday, I'm going to play Oh Jesus, I Have Promised. John Ernest Bode has given the church one of its most enduring hymns of Christian discipleship. It was so popular that bishops in the Church of England were weary of singing it and discouraged its use at confirmations. Born in London, John Ernest Bode was educated at both Eton and Charterhouse, as well as Christ Church, Oxford. His service as a fellow of Christ Church from 1841 to 1847 included taking holy orders as deacon in 1841 and priest in 1843. Our hymn has its origins in the confirmation of the poet's daughter and two sons in 1866. It was published two years later as a leaflet by SPCK, the Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, entitled Hymn for the Newly Confirmed, and later in the new appendix to the new and enlarged edition of Hymns for Public Worship, and in Church Hymns and Tunes in 1874. When it was published in the second edition of the popular Hymns Ancient and Modern in 1875, the success of the hymn was assured. Most major hymnals have included it since then. The text is based on a verse in John 12, following Jesus's triumphal entry into Jerusalem and his travel to Bethsaida of Galilee, just before his impending passion, when he shares with his disciples, the hour is come that the son of man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. From John chapter 12, verses 23 to 26. Have a good week.